what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video I have a, another tutorial in my Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona series so the palette that I decided to play with today was the Pat McGrath Mothership to Sublime palette now this is the one with the beautiful kind of green as the standout color now for my Pat McGrath tutorials and looks that I do I normally keep it pretty simple and play with these glitters and just splat one of the beautiful glitters all over my lid and the look it creates is amazing but for today's tutorial I decided not to do that I wanted to do something a little bit different so I just wanted to stay in this area play with more of her matte and satin shades and do a really simple smoky eye just to show you all that you can get with this palette and it's really easy even though I just created this really simple smoky eye you can actually just pop this color or this color all over the lid and it would transform everything but like I said I just wanted to do something a little bit more different than I normally would with these palettes just to show you how versatile they can be so anyways if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching starting off with NARS soft matte complete concealer I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow base today Taking the Pat McGrath Sublime Palette, I'm taking the Satin Rose Shade and I'm placing that all over my crease as the transition. This color is really amazing because the finish of it can be used as a crease color or a lid color as well, even though it does have a satin finish. Next, we're going to dig into this chocolate brown shade and I'm going to use that to start adding some depth into the eye. This brush did have a little bit of black in it from the other eye, but it'll all go to the same look, so it's okay. So to really start building on the smoky eye, we're going to go straight into that black. I'm just lightly tapping that in my outer corner and then blending it in towards my inner corner. I'm then going to use my finger and I'm going to dip it into this bronzy taupe color and I'm just going to use my finger to apply that all over the eyelid. Finally taking this satin ballet color, I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight and as well as under my brow bone. I'm using the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer and I just really like this because it feels really nice and moisturizing on the skin and it smells amazing as well. Since the Too Faced You're So Jelly highlighter has such a strong beam to it and I don't want to be overly glowy in this look, I decided to apply it first before my foundation. For today's video, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm so close to finishing it, so be prepared for me to use this in every single video because I want to finish it up. I'm going to use the NARS concealer again, but except this time I'm actually going to use it under my eyes and to brighten up my complexion a little bit. I 
I decided to go for this very subtle liquid blush from Flower Beauty because as you can see, it just adds the most natural amount of color. And since my eyes are so dark, I don't need a lot of color on my cheeks. So that's why I went with this. I just grabbed for the classic Cody Airspun to set the places that I want set. I have very dry skin, so I tend to only put powder in very few places. I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow and I'm first starting off with the bronze shade and I'm doing that to add a little bit of depth to the skin and you will see later on that I also dig into the highlighter shade from this duo as well to add a very subtle glow onto the tops of my cheekbones just to work with that original highlighter that we put down in the beginning. So for the lower lash line, I'm dipping into the chocolate color, but I'm actually using the brush that has black on it from earlier. So these two combined are just going to create a really nice smoky eye without it being so harsh because I didn't dip only into the black. For eyelashes, I used Lily Lashes Makeup by Samuel, which I really like because they're flared. And then I went in with a neutral brown ColourPop lip liner in the shade 951. And then I took this peachy nude shade from MAC and I used that as my lipstick for today. I took Flesh Fantasy from Pat McGrath, which is one of my favorite lip glosses of the moment, and I used that to add some plump to my lips, and then boom, you are done with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching.